All right, here we are at number three, and the directions are to find the slope. Does the line rise from left to right, fall from left to right, or is it horizontal or vertical? And in order to find the slope, you know that we're going to need two points, which we've been given. So let's go ahead and label our points. So let's label x1, y1, x2, y2. And when we have been given two points, we can use the uh, slope formula in order to, to find a slope between two points. So slope is, and now we can say y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so let's just go ahead and we really actually don't even need those parentheses. We can get rid of them. Let's go ahead and plug in our information. So that's why it's helpful to label your points. Uh, so that you can just easily identify what numbers you're going to go ahead and plug in. And it's helpful when you're substituting your numbers in to use parentheses because if, if you have a point that is a negative, you want to be careful to distribute the negative that's in the formula. So uh, it's just it helps if, if you use parentheses when plugging in. So y2, so we'll have negative 8 minus y1, so negative 2, over x2, so 2, minus x1, so negative 1. So here we have negative 8 plus 2. So you can see why it might be helpful to use parentheses, because when you distribute that negative through, a negative times a negative gives you a positive. Over, and now we just have our 2. Again, when we distribute that negative through, we end up with a plus 1. So we have negative 8 plus 2. Well, that's going to give us negative 6 over 2 plus 1 is 3. And here we can reduce negative 6 over 3 becomes simply negative 2. And so our slope for these two points, or between these two points rather, is negative 2. And so let's go ahead and now answer the second part of their question. And it doesn't ask you to graph this, but if we have a visual graph of what this line looks like, it will be easier to, uh, to see whether or not this line is falling or rising, horizontal or vertical. So let's go ahead and create some points here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, and of course, this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis, and there really should be arrows at the end of each of these, just so we have a, an accurate graph. All right, so let's go ahead and plot each of these points. So negative 1, negative 2. So negative 1, negative 2, and positive 2, negative 8. So positive 2, negative 8, way down here. And we can go ahead and connect these two points. And so here we have a line. So when they ask us, does this line rise from left to right, fall from left to right, or is it horizontal or vertical? Well, right away we know that this is not a horizontal line and this is not a vertical line. So we can go ahead and eliminate those two as a possibility. And when, when we look at a graph, when we read a graph, just like a book, we are going to read a graph from left to right. So we're going to start from left and work our, our way to the right. And when your line starts high, and as you move from left to right gets lower, your line is said to be falling. Or you can think of it as if you have a negative slope, your line is falling. If you have a positive slope, your line is rising. So when I say that, you really didn't even have to graph this in order to know what your line was doing. Because we had a negative slope, right away we know our line is falling from left to right. If we had a positive slope, like m equals positive 2, right away we know our line is rising from left to right. But it's sometimes nice to just double check, see a visual. Uh, but here we have, again, when we read the graph from left to right, we see that we start higher. As we work our way to the left, this line is getting lower and lower, and so we can see that it's falling. If we had a horizontal line, horizontal lines have slopes of zero. So if we put our two points into this formula and ended up with m equals zero, well then we can say that we have a horizontal line, we don't have to graph. And if we ended up with m equals undefined, 
then we can say that we have a vertical graph. So again, you don't have to graph these in order to determine what your line is doing. Just pay attention to your slope. Negative slope means falling. Positive slope means rising. Uh, if you have a slope of zero, that's horizontal. And if you end up with an undefined slope, that's vertical. All right, that was number three. Let's go ahead and take a look at number four. I'll see you there.